Tang gang, what's poppin', man? This your boy Tay, back at y'all again. So I had a guy ask me a question, man, about what the shift is. Um, he wanted me to go more in detail on what the shift is. I feel like I've touched on it in a few videos here and there, but I haven't really went in detail. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, man. We're gonna go, I'm gonna go scientific Tay today on y'all. You feel me? Uh, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I show my gratitude. So when you hear people talk about the shift, going from a 3D consciousness to a 5D consciousness or reality, you know, what that means is there's a separation happening. Okay, there's a separation between mindsets, between lifestyle, everything, energy, all these things. It's being separated. It's being sorted out. So if you think about it, if you do deep cleaning in your house right you trying to clean out old stuff stuff that you don't use anymore you're gonna put that in this pile right anything that don't serve you anymore clothes you haven't worn in years items you haven't used in years you like you know what i need i need to throw some of this stuff out you're gonna put that in a trash pile right because it don't serve you anymore that's the 3d right low vibrational it doesn't have a purpose anymore it's not serving anything anymore that's gonna be a separate pile. And then you got your items or clothes or whatever that still has value to you, right? It's still worth something to you. It still has a purpose. So you're gonna put that in a keep pile. That's gonna be your pile that you're gonna keep. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna organize, re rearrange your, your house or whatever and make sure that it's nice and neat. That's sort of what's happening with the ship is everything's being sorted out and organized. And anything that's not serving the most high or not serving that righteous energy, basically, if it's not tapped into the universe, you know, it's going to get sorted out. What is happening is the sun, right, is radiating, it's sending radiation down here to the atmosphere. The molecules, the gases, we'll, we'll just say molecules, the molecules in the air absorb that radiation and they heat up. And then what they do is they start vibrating. They start bouncing around and then they start hitting other molecules. And then now you got all these molecules bouncing around and they're transferring that energy back and forth. So they start to move faster and faster and faster. And the molecules in the air literally start vibrating, right? It's moving faster. So when you hear people say, um, or if you hear me say, you got to raise your vibration. You got to be on the vibration of the planet. Literally, the vibration on the planet is rising because the radiation from the sun is heating up the molecules, which is making them vibrate faster. Right? They're moving faster. So that's literally happening. So when I say, you know, you got to raise your vibration too to match the frequency of the planet, that's exactly what it means. As the planet is heating up, heat is energy. Heat. Heat is just molecules vibrating at a fast rate, right? So you got to make sure that you're on par with that. In order for you to be on the 5D part of the shift, to make that shift, you got to be pure, pure at heart, right? Remember Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee said, be like water, right? Wise man. Why did he say that? Water's pure. Water is pure. If you put water into any container, it'll take that shape of that container. It's interchangeable, right? Water is free flowing. So you have to be like water. If I put a pot of water on a stove and I heat it up, it's gonna start boiling, right? Those, those, those water molecules, those H2O molecules are going to absorb the heat from the stove and then it's gonna literally start making the molecules vibrate. This is where you see that boiling effect. So what happens with, with the shift is, if you're not vibrating at a certain level, right? Think of it as you putting salt water or sugar water in a pot and boil that. The water's going to rise up. You know, as it heats up, the water's going to rise up, but the sugar or the salt, 
you know, that, that solid is going to stay behind. It's going to turn back into a solid state. Why? Because it's too heavy. It's not pure. So it can't rise up. It's not going to go to that next um, dimension of consciousness. It's not. It's going to stay down here. It can't rise up. The water is going to evaporate, though. And that's what's happening on the planet. If you're not working on yourself, you're not doing the shadow work, that inner healing. If you're not doing that, you know, you're not becoming pure. And if you're not becoming pure, you're not becoming something that can rise up and go to that next level. Right, fellas and ladies, you know, I'm talking to all y'all. You have to start becoming pure at heart. You have to become a pure substance. Right now, we're in that pot and that stove is on. And as the heat and the temperature rises and as that water starts boiling, it's going to force you, that pressure from that heat's going to force you to change. It's going to force you to go inside your inner world and clean out any toxic, you know, any destructive behavior, anything that you hold on to. It's going to force you to do that. Some of y'all feeling the pressure now. You feeling that pressure. You, you having memories from your childhood come back up. Old school traumas coming back up. And it's forcing you to deal with those things. That's that pressure. That's that heat. That's that energy. That high vibration of the planet rising up. So if you're not, you know, taking a hint from that and actually working on yourself, you're not going to become pure. And you're going to stay behind. You're going to be like that salt or that sugar mixing in with that water. And you're going to stay behind. Because you're too heavy. You're still holding on to all these things, which is making you heavy. Right? You're too dense. Remember, guys, anything that's solid is, is low vibrational. You know, a solid object is low vibrational. And it's, it's moving so slow that you can see it. It's like frozen. This is where we get image from. The reason why we can see each other, because our, we're on a low vibration, right, in this plane. This is why we're able to see solid objects. But everything's vibrating, right? This is why you can't see gases because gases are vibrating higher. Right? They have a higher vibration. So that's the only way you can make the shift is if you're trying to work on yourself and you're cleaning out any clutter that you have inside of you. Or else you're going to be trapped in this 3D, this solid state, this solid form. You're going to be frozen in place, frozen in time. You know, think of like putting an ice cube in boiling water. What's going to happen? The ice cube gonna melt. It's gonna be destroyed. A snowman in the middle of the summertime, right? It don't make no sense. But that's what a lot of people are doing because they're not working on themselves. So it's hot, it's 100 degrees outside and you see a snowman on the side of the street. That's what some people are right now because they're not willing to change, willing to vibrate higher. You know, it don't make no sense. So there's no in-between with this. There's no in-between. Either you're going to be stuck in the 3D or you're going to rise to the 5D consciousness. It's plain and simple, right? You got to choose a side. You know, we heard that all our life. You got to choose a side. You know, you got angels versus demons, good versus evil. You know, it's always that versus. You got to choose a side. Are you going to choose to be righteous or are you going to choose to still be a part of this toxic um, destructive lifestyles that's promoted. Which one are you going to choose? Because you can't you can't straddle both sides though. Either you choose to raise your vibration, do the inner work, the inner healing, or you choose to be the same, be cold-hearted. You know, remember Omarion? I got an ice box where my heart used to be. Some of y'all got an ice box in here. It's cold, and what's going to happen is you're going to stay frozen. Right? You gotta warm up. You gotta vibrate higher. Or else you're gonna be stuck down here in solid form. You don't wanna experience that low vibrational reality that some people are gonna be hit with. So you gotta be changing the way you think, the way you treat people, how you move. You know, are you treating people with disrespect or do you show respect to people? Are you doing good deeds for people? What type of energy are you putting out here? See, you got to be aware of this because all these things play a part into your shift. What type of foods are you eating? Because food is energy. That's all it is. Don't get it twisted. You know, you are what you eat. 
That's a real saying. That's that's real. That's real life. You are what you eat. When you put food in your body, your cells take that energy from that food and it vibrates on that frequency or whatever that food was. So if you're eating BS, yeah, you're going to be low vibrational. You're literally transforming yourself into that vibration. That's the only purpose of us eating, really, is for energy, for information. Right? It gives the molecules, the cells in our body, the energy and the information it needs to survive and to upgrade. This is why I say you want to eat a lot of plant-based and fruit-based foods, man. You know? Not saying you got to be perfect, but you want that to be the majority of your diet is eating things from the earth because that's going to put you on the right frequency. Right? I've said this many times. Some people think it's a joke, man. Some people think, oh, you can eat what you want. I can still do what I want. And you're still going to rise up and you're still going to become the best version of yourself. It don't work like that. Everything is energy. Everything is a vibration. So if you if you messing around with the wrong vibrations, man, you holding yourself back. Like I said, you ain't got to be perfect because I'm not perfect. We're all just learning together. We're all trying to rise up together. But, you know, you got to be mindful, man. As, as you go on in life, you learn from trial and error and you figure out what to do and what not to do. You know, you, you feel your spirit out and your energy and you know how certain things affect you. Right? If I touch fire, you know, you learn this as a baby. If you touch fire and it's hot, it burns you, you pull your hand away. And you know not to touch fire again. Why? Because it burnt you. You know the feeling. You experience that. Because everything you go through in life is teaching you, man. Like for real. Some things books can't teach you. There's some things that you can't learn in school. Some things you gotta learn from your own experience, your own life. Life is a teacher itself. And experience is always the best teacher. So what y'all need to do, man, to make this shift, you know, what you got to do to make this shift is you have to go back inside yourself and you got to analyze all your experiences. You got to take the good and leave the bad. Detox from all the trauma and all those things. That way you can heal yourself and let go of that weight. And then what you want to do is you want to take the lessons that you learned to improve yourself. This is how you lighten your energy up. You lighten yourself up so you can vibrate faster. This is why they say, you know, when you're doing righteous things, you start to glow. A lot of guys on retention, you know, I, I, this is not a retention video, but I noticed myself, like, when I have, a, like, a little girl or whatever, and we would cuddle, she would always say I felt warm, right? Because that, that energy, I got that energy inside me, so I'm vibrating. My molecules are vibrating faster, which is emitting heat. This is why you start to glow. When you're doing righteous things, you start to glow. People start to stare at you. You wonder why people staring at you all the time because you're glowing. You're radiating heat, which means you're vibrating faster, which means you're on the frequency of the planet. If you're moving righteous, you're going to be protected from all that. All that stuff that they put in, you know, on TV and whatever. All this fear. You're going to be protected from all that when you move righteous because the Most High is going to protect his children. But hey man, it's your boy Tay. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section what y'all thought about this video or what y'all like me to talk about next. Y'all have a beautiful day, man. And I'm out.